If you have a lot of video files, such as movies, on your Mac, one of the things that you might be frustrated with is how those files are actually displayed within your Finder windows. Here's an example. We've got a Finder, finder window open here, and you'll notice in our list view we have these little generic icons. If we go over to our icon view, it's just showing our files with icons that aren't very appealing to look at. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to display the movie artwork, such as the posters, as these icons instead of these generic symbols? Well, one app that can help us to do that is called Movie Icon. Now, it's available in the Mac App Store. What it does is it allows you to drag and drop your files right into the window in order to change that icon right in front of your eyes. Let's go ahead and show you how this works. We'll open up Movie Icon. It's a very simple user interface, which is great because you don't need anything. All you want to do is drag and drop these files in. Let's show you how it works here. We've got a movie selected here in our Finder window. We'll go ahead and just drag that movie right over the Drop Movies Here uh, display within Movie Icon. Okay, so what we have here, we dropped in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. For some reason, it searches the internet and it brings up this picture. Well, that's not what we want, but that's okay because we've got these little scrolling arrows here. We'll click on that. Ah, now that's the image we want. That's one of the movie posters. We can scroll up and down here too to select a different poster. That's more the more famous poster, so let's choose that one. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit apply. And now watch in our finder window, it real time changes the icon. Let's do it for another one here. We've got King Kong. We'll drop that in. Okay, this time it finds the movie poster right away. But we can go ahead and scroll through these icons. Oh, that one's a little bit more of an action-packed poster. Maybe that's the one we want to use. So we can go ahead and hit Apply here. There we go. Now, let's uh, show you another cool feature here. Let's say we have a uh, file on our desktop, uh, one that we just recorded, or maybe it's a home video. Well, of course, it's not going to find movie artwork for that, but let's show you what it does do. We'll drag our home video here, and uh, it just picks a random image, but really, it's not one that we want to use. If you click on this uh, G here, basically that's going to give us some generic posters that we can use for our home videos, and they've got a number of different genres here. So you can see, let's say for ours we want to use something more along the lines of uh, history. So it gives us a history picture. Music, give us something having to do with music, romance, sci-fi, a short film. Let's say we just want to pick that short film, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit apply, and that'll change our home video to have that uh, movie artwork. So you can see here it's on our desktop, and it's got that artwork already built in. Now, sometimes you just want to save a movie poster to your desktop, just the image. And uh, Movie Icon has a great way to do that too. So let's go ahead and drag our file in here. So we found some poster images. We can go ahead and change, search for the image we want. Okay, let's say that's the one we want. What we can do is just drag this right onto our desktop or into any folder and it'll save that PNG image. So we've got that uh, right here. Actually, it's a JPEG this time. But it'll save any kind of file type, no matter uh, what the poster image is that it finds online. So that's a great way to go ahead. We'll apply that to our file, let's say. Let's just do this last one here so we've got them all done. But it's a great way to add uh, movie artwork to your file so that anywhere you are on your Mac, that artwork will show up. And one of the best ways to view this is in the cover flow. Uh, viewing option within the finder window. So we'll click on that. We can make these as big as we want. And now what we can do is just scroll through our movie collection and go ahead and play one of these files. It's a great way to view and it's all made possible by the Movie Icon app.